Jesus says, Everything that befalls you I have allowed for a specific reason. June 11, 2016 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, Claire, from every one of the things you and Ezekiel have suffered, I've brought forth a tenfold harvest. Every single suffering has yielded a rich harvest for the kingdom of God. I told you these things ahead of time, my brides, because I could see what was coming. It is so important for you to take these kinds of warnings seriously and remember them in the fray of the battle so you don't grow discouraged. I've seen all of you fighting to keep your faith. I've seen all of you growing weary in the battle. But I'm here to tell you, there is an end coming. Dare I say soon? No, I don't think I will. I will just promise you, there is an end coming. What Claire and Ezekiel have suffered is but a fraction of suffering of those who have been displaced and lost everything – children, husbands, wives. Please, put this into perspective. You're going to be reunited with your families in heaven, but for now, at least you're still able to stay warm and fed and receive treatment when you are sick. Although I truly want to be your first recourse in illness. But I want to commend you that you are standing, you are not caving in, you are not shaking your fist at me, although the devils have tempted that response. You are holding on to the gift of faith and shouldering your crosses, custom-made crosses, that I've designed specifically just for you, knowing your strength, weaknesses, and how much you would rely on me. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is extending to more and more people may overflow in thanksgiving to the glory of God. Therefore we do not lose heart, though our outer self is wasting away, yet our inner self is being renewed day by day. For our light and temporary affliction is producing for us an eternal glory that far outweighs our troubles. Therefore we do not lose heart. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. That's 2 Corinthians 4, 15-18. Remember these words, my doves, and you will not fall in the battle. Live by these words, and you will fear no evil, and you will receive high marks when the tally is finally in. Remember, there is nothing that befalls you that I do not allow for a specific reason, and in all events I am in control. Seek the response inspired by my Holy Spirit, and you will wear the crown of victory. You are co-laborers in my vineyard. Every suffering, every deed will bring forth a vintage harvest at the appointed time.